Hello, it's Marcia Bernadette, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on using a wet polisher uh, on the back and on the edges um, of glass. This is the wet polisher that I use. It has a lot of use on it, and um, I got it at Amazon. The pads affix themselves to the to the grinder with Velcro. So they detach fairly easy. The pads come in several sizes. I'm going to show you this. This piece of glass has some staining from fiber paper and you can also see it has texture. So what I want to do with this is to um, sand off what looks like the fiber paper and I also want to get all of this texture off the back. Now, wet polishing is a very wet business, so make sure that you have on um, some sort of an apron or rain poncho. You can buy a rain poncho from Harbor Freight for one dollar, um, and some sort of a shield um, to cover yourself. I use uh, this gizmo from Harbor Freight, and I think it was a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that. Um, not a lot of money. But I use that to keep the water off of my glasses and out of my eyes. So, you know, if they stay in glass, you can never be too safe. So, if there was um, anything that happened to want to come near my eyes, it's not going to get in them. All right, I use the tabletop of my saw because it's the right height for me. I also have um, a smaller table that I can use. I can set it up in the middle of the garage. Um, and I can work on that as well. But for this video and for this purposes, I'm going to be using um, the top of my the top of my sock. You need enough water so that you have water coming out, and that you're not seeing a lot of white lines. So there's my water. I'm just going to pick it up and look to see if I can see some drips coming out. And I see drips coming out, so that's very good. And it's a constant drip. That's all I'm going to start with. And there's going to be a big splash. As I stated um, before, I don't want to do the whole piece um, in this video, but what I do want to show you is that, let me get a towel so I can dry it off and you'll be able to see. The difference in the textures. I hope you can. I'm going to try my best to angle this in the light so you can see the difference. So that was after only a few minutes of, of, of wet grinding. But the, the parts that you see here that are dull are now smooth. There's no texture there. There's little bits of shiny surfaces you can see in the middle. 
that means I just have a little bit more to go. Where I had fiber paper along in here, that's also gone too. That's just a different color glass that you're seeing there. Um, if you look at one of these, so this one right here, you can see it's pretty, it's pretty dull. It hasn't been, this has not been sanded over here on this side. And neither has, has this one. So it still has the, the fiber paper on it. So anyway, that's how quickly with a 30 grit you can get the back of your glass smooth. So if I continued on, you would see a lot more difference. So you can, it, 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 it makes a world of difference in the back of your piece and um, in the quality of your work. So now I'm going to set it up for um, doing the edges. And what I use are these clamps. These are clamps that um, are available at Home Depot. Uh, and they're about 18 inches long. But this is what I use to keep the glass standing on edge when I want to polish the edges. So I'm going to set this up. And clamp it to the glass pretty tight. So that's just with one clamp on. As you can see, it's standing on its own. I'm not doing anything. I'll put the other side of the clamp going in the opposite direction. Still be um, clamped to um, the bottom, but just going in a different direction. That way, if it has a tendency to want to go in one direction or the other, you have a clamp to keep from doing that. Okay. All right, I have my plate or my flat edge um, upright. So I'm going to go on ahead and turn the sander on and start to work the sides. As you can see, it's standing up by itself. I'm not holding it. It's by itself. Here we go. I'm going to loosen the clamps and you should be able to see the sanded edge. So you can indeed use a wet polisher to work the edge of your glass. Remember safety first. Wear eye protection. In the case of the wet polisher, wear an apron. And please make sure that your electrical outlets and your electrical fittings are all covered up and water can't go in. All right, have a glassy day.